What's up? What's up? What's up, my Christian gangsters? I hope y'all are having an amazing day. I know I am, y'all. Today, it's pretty good. You know, it's a Saturday. Um, Today, we're dropping my sister off at college, y'all. At college, this is so crazy. Like, people are going to college. People are graduating from high school. Well, people already done graduated. But the point is, is that people are going into new chapters in their lives. So, y'all, I encourage y'all to always uplift um, students who are going to college. Keep them in your prayers and just pray that they stay focused and that, that they stay in school, y'all. Because, believe it or not, more than half the people that I know that went to college did not finish. And are not going to finish. So keep our um lift our lift our college students up in prayer and pray that they become um just valuable in society, y'all. We ain't just trying to get our our students in there and then uh let them waste time. Like that's college is too much money to be wasting time anyway. But anyway, that's enough of that. So yo, did y'all pray today? I have a message for y'all. Of course, y'all already know, but I have to ask the question. Did you pray today? If you didn't, it is A-OK. That's a trope. It is A-OK because we're going to go ahead and pray because I got a little word for y'all, all all right? So if you can bow your heads and close your eyes, we can go ahead and get this thing done. And then, y'all. So, yeah, go ahead. Thank you, Lord, for bringing us here together, God. I ask that you please just use me as your mouthpiece, God, and let and let me speak your word, God. Not only speak your word, but also just tell the truth in your name, God. And that you let anyone who's hearing this message, God, let their ears be open and their eyes um are are open or unscaled, God, from the from the untruth, God, from the things that are keeping you keeping them away from you, God. So please just give them a heart of understanding, um, and acceptance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So yeah. Um, this morning on the way, you know, on the way to the college or whatnot, I was, of course, I listen to sermons. I listen to sermons all the time. And one sermon that I, I'm getting tongue-tied. One sermon that I was listening to is, uh, Sarah Jakes Roberts, um, uh, and it's called Reconstruction. And, um, by the way, she is an awesome woman of God. So if y'all have the opportunity to go on YouTube, subscribe to, uh, LA, LA one, LA one, one LA. Anyway, just type in Sarah Jakes Roberts. There will be, um, a YouTube channel with her and her husband preaching at a church and that's, it's their church in LA. And I think they have one in Denver as well. Um, but anyway, also woman of God, also subscribe to Woman Evolve. Ugh. She's just awesome. But anyway, so I was looking at her, and she was um, talking about... Well, not looking at her because I was driving, but I was listening to her, and she was talking about reconstruction. And one of the things that she said um, was... Oh, one of the things that she talked about was how um, it feels like... Sometimes it feels like God is breaking us down when actually he is trying to reconstruct us which means that things will be pulled from us um people will be pulled from us um and and it it will be a process that you won't like and it made me think about the things in my life uh the people that i that had to leave my life the relationships that i had to to move away from and break away from um so that i can grow within myself y'all i don't think y'all understand that some people are really holding you back from pursuing your purpose um let me give you an example and Whatever I say is not to bash anyone, but it's really a reflection or a a look back to say, you know what, if I had not broken away from that relationship or that friendship, I wouldn't be where I am today. So I want to just give you all a quick example or whatnot, but um, I I was in a a, a long relationship, a long time relationship, and, you know, very, we were very young, um, but one of the things that really happened in the relationship was the fact that my purpose was really suppressed because I was so focused on his purpose and what he wanted to do that I, my, I, I wasn't really focused on my own purpose. And I've been single for what, a year and a half, almost two years now. And y'all, let me tell you the things that God is doing in my life, 
it never would have been done if I was still in that relationship. So I just want to encourage you guys to to pray about the relationships that you are in um, because it you it may come a time where you, you are needing to separate from the people who are holding you back, y'all. You will not like it. I did not like the fact that I had to separate from this person. I didn't even realize that I needed to separate from this person. But it had to happen so that not only could I prepare uh, pre- uh, prepare for my purpose, but also so I can, um, move forward and, and also just really focus. Um, because a lot of people in your life will distract you, y'all. Relationships can distract you. Good or bad relationships can really distract you. And if you don't have that right person that you're in a relationship and a friendship, you know, romantic relationship with or whatnot, they will keep you from your purpose and then you are sitting here looking back 10 years later and be and be like dang i really could have done this if i would have been focused sometimes some things need to be rearranged and thrown away rearranged and thrown away so i encourage y'all again pray about your relationships and pray that God gives you a heart of discernment, y'all, because reconstruction is coming. Um, uh, ultimately, we are made to to build up His kingdom, to to help His kingdom, and uh, and, and to help prepare people for for uh, for uh, for Jesus to come back on this earth, y'all. Um, and we have to be a willing vessel. Overall, we just have to be a willing vessel. But in order to be a willing vessel, you have to be willing to let God take control. You have to be willing to let God take some of the things that you're not really wanting to let go. You have to be willing to open up your heart and your mind to say, God, I want you to have full control over what I have going on so that you can get the glory out of everything, God. I don't want anything unless you give it to me. You have to be willing to say that. Yes, it's going to be, oh, it's going to be so hard, y'all. Y'all are be guaranteed for the fact that you may cry um the, for the fact that you may be angry a little bit but you look back one two three years later and you're like dang i'm so happy that that i gave it up or the fact showing you that that person wasn't meant for your purpose so um with that y'all yeah all i want y'all to do is really to follow your purpose man and if that means that you're letting the one person that you ever loved go because they wasn't meant for you in the first place. If that means that, then y'all, I encourage y'all to do it, man. It, life is too short. People are dying young. Um, and people, some people are dying so early that they don't even get a chance to even know what their purpose is. So don't waste your time with people who are not willing to give you um, their time and willing to put time into you so that you can pursue whatever God is calling you to. Um, so, yeah, get ready for reconstruction. Get ready for it because it's coming. God is calling you to greater. God is wanting you to serve in a mighty way. But you can't do that if you're not willing to give up everything that is not of him. So y'all, with that, uh, pray today. Like I said, pray. Before you do anything, you need to pray. Read your word, y'all. Um, because the word can tell you if somebody is for you or not. The word can tell you the characteristics of a, of a godly woman or a godly man. The word can tell you if a person is, is really looking out for your good or not. Like, uh, 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 like y'all don't understand that word will tell you everything that you need to know, but you have to be a willing vessel also to, to open up that word because God can speak to you in many different ways through other people, through preachers, through pastors, through, to, through a, a stranger on the street. But most of all, he will show you in his word what it is that he wants you to have what it is that he wants you to pursue and what it is that uh what whatever uh characteristics that you need to be having or embodying or, or whatever it may be um so pray read your word and be blessed and y'all i did not forget i did not forget at all you know like i always say there is power purpose and prosperity in your obedience and i mean that to the fullest so Y'all, do whatever y'all need to do to get this thing done. We are not here just to be having fun. Yes, we are here to enjoy life because God gave us life. But at the same time, we was put on this earth for a purpose. So if you want to play around with your life, do with your life as you will. Right? Um, But we wasn't here for that. You have a purpose. You were called to great things. You were called to make a difference. You were called to to make a change. You were called to be a leader. You were called to so many things. And you have greatness within you. 
And I believe in you. Whoever's watching this, I believe in you. So, y'all, let's get this thing done. Pray, read, and be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace, y'all.